channel, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. Me and Car Keys. So today's video is about tonal covers. Specifically, my tonal cover, which is a Gator EFX hard trifold cover. I was trying to wait six months to do this type of video, uh, and for reasons that I will get into in this video, we're doing it now. So I've had this trifold cover for about four and a half, almost five months now, and there's some good and there's some bad. So you want the good news or you want the bad news? <laughs> so <laughs> let's start off with the good. As I said, this is the Gator EFX hard trifold cover. Uh, number one pro of this uh, trifold cover is that it's a hard cover. Now, the way it's uh, designed is that there's no way to get in here. The only way to get into this trifold cover, you have to tailgate down first. So if your tailgate is locked, there's no way to get in here. Well, there's no easy way to get in here. You know, some criminals have time on their hands, but most of them don't. So <laughs> there's no way to actually get into this trifold cover without lowering the tailgate. So safety and security is probably the number one reason why I got this one. And I went with the hard top over the soft top because I watched those videos on YouTube where people take a knife and they just slash right through, you know, the soft cover. So there's no way to do that with this one. Um, it's hard, it's durable. You know, what else can you ask for when it comes to security? One of the other pros of this trifo cover is that it was very easy to install. Um, it took me probably about 30 minutes, maybe a little longer because I was doing a video at the same time. So it didn't take long to install very easy um, i put a link for the install video up there somewhere so that you can see it if you need to see that one you have two rails one on this side one on the other side you have six of these clamps one here one there one at the end and then uh, this rail has a channel and the cover just literally sits in the channels on the end and they snap in with this little snap thing right here um also ease of use Talk about ease of use to operate this trifle cover. There's a cord right here. There's one here. There's one on this side. You literally just pull it, push up. You do it with one hand. You got that side up. Same side, same thing with that side. So very easy to operate. It's not heavy at all. Like I said, I can operate it with one hand. Another pro of this trifle cover, close the tailgate so you can see what I mean, is that it's the low profile design. So. If you look at it from the side, you can't really see anything sticking off the top. I don't really like that. Um, it looks bulky, it looks weird. So I wanted one of these trifle covers, which is actually what sold me on this one, was that it was a low profile. And if you look all the way around, it fits in very well. Like you can't even tell that something's there, which I like that. All right, so another pro that will surprise you, because it definitely surprised me, was believe it or not, I got better MPG. I got better fuel economy when I put this tonal cover on. Let me show you. So if I remember correctly, I was getting about 19, I believe it was like 19 miles per gallon. That was me running pretty much uh, 87 unleaded and every now and then throwing 85 in there because the price was cheaper. So show you what we got. Now we're at 19.7, 19.7 miles per gallon. Now, that might not be a big deal to a lot of people, but to me it is. <laughs> it's not uh, a big change, 0.7 miles per gallon gain. And I'm, I'm guessing it's because there's more weight on the back of this truck. Now, this tonal cover does not weigh that much. I believe the box was probably less than 100 pounds. Well, probably around 100 pounds, maybe a little less. So it's not that much weight, but it does make a difference. And if you notice gas prices are going up, I appreciate that. That's great. <laughs> I'm not the only person that said that. I've heard other people say that when they put their tonal cover on, they noticed they got better fuel economy. All right, so those are our pros. Let's talk about the cons. So, con number one, and con number one is my fault. Uh, I didn't do all of my research. The trifo cover doesn't open all the way. So, let me show you. If you open, So you have roughly two thirds use of your bed space. So this doesn't open again. This is as far as it goes. So you have all this room, but you know, if you want to put something long in here, something uh, something longer than this, then you, you can't, you have this in the way. So that's kind of a one. I didn't realize it when I got it. I thought sure that it opened up all the way, 
Um, now, one of the good things to me, since we have it open, another pro is this does open, it does snap, right? You can just snap that in on both sides. So it's not going anywhere, it's not gonna flop in the wind. That's a pro, I forgot about that one. Um, so yeah, back to the cons. As I was saying, you don't have full use of your bed space like I thought I did. And that's my fault, I didn't do all of my research. So, whatever. Gotta deal with it, gotta live with it. So when I put this toner cover on, uh, first of all, I noticed when it came out of the box, it was dusty. I'm not sure why, I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but this whole thing was covered in dust. Now, first of all, it was covered, it was wrapped in plastic or a paper covering. So I don't know how it got dusty. It was in a box, it was covered and in a box, and it still was covered in dust. So I don't know if it just been sitting in a warehouse for a long time or somebody else had it or what the case was, but I didn't notice that. Didn't think it was a big deal. So the first issue I had after I installed the tonal cover was right over here. And let me just show you what I mean. When you open the tailgate, that happens. Let me show you from this angle. Open your tailgate. That happens. Right here, every time. This whole trim piece is loose. Now, this came loose the first week I had it on the truck. That shouldn't happen. Not, not the first week you have it on. I could, now I can see it's a trim piece. It hits against the tailgate every time you open and close it. So I can understand how that could come off, but not the first week I put it on there, right? Now, before we go any further, I should explain to you that I've reached out to Gator, right? And I'm gonna get to that, which is the reason why we're doing this video now. So when I reached out to Gator, they asked me to send them pictures of my issues. So when I went to send them pictures, I noticed more issues. So I sent them pictures of this. And as I was looking around the truck, I noticed this. I noticed this. There's an adhesive there that's already coming off, so this part's loose. The same thing is happening up front. As you see, it's not as snug as it was when I first got it. So I sent them pictures on all these things to see what they recommend. Now, I fully expected they would send me like an adhesive. They would tell me to glue it back together, put it back on, glue it back together, um, which is what I thought they were gonna say. We'll get to that later on in the video. Now, the other issue I noticed when we're talking about all these gaps and all these trim pieces that seem to be uh, loose. So one of the reasons you get a tonal cover is to protect your stuff from the elements, right? The rain, snow, ice, sleet, whatever. So one of the reasons I got a hard tonal cover is because I felt like it would protect better with the rain. Now I don't put a whole bunch of stuff in my bed, but this box. This box has been in the back of my truck for probably like a month after I put this tonal cover on, All right? Now the box was not damaged whatsoever. Now, if you look at the box, you can see this water line all the way up here of how much water has actually gotten in the truck since I put this tonal cover on. So needless to say, everything in this box is probably destroyed. It's probably covered in mildew. I haven't even had time to even look and see if it is or not, but if you see this water line, there's no way that that much water should have gotten in the bed of this truck with a tonal cover on. No way. Now, I went back and looked at the website. It doesn't claim to be waterproof, right? It doesn't say that it's waterproof. It doesn't say it's water resistant or anything like that. It doesn't, actually doesn't speak of water at all. However, you would expect it to be somewhat uh, protected from water. Now, Talk about trucks. There's a crack here, you know, on both sides of the tailgate. So you would expect water would get in there some way, shape, or form. Now, the way this tonal cover is built is built so that it does protect, it is supposed to protect from water. Now, like I said, it doesn't officially say that. It doesn't say that it's waterproof or is it water resistant. But if you look at the way it's built, start off here. On the ends, they have these rubber pieces here that, that go all the way down the tonal cover all the way to the end on both sides to protect it from water. It has this on the end to protect it from water. It came with this little adhesive piece here that you put down first to protect it from water. It also came with these tubes, right? If you look at my tube, the tube attaches to the tonal cover up here and I have it running out of the 
bed of the truck here. So the water is supposed to run, if any water does get in, it's supposed to run in this channel here where you see where it is wet because it did rain last night. The water's supposed to run through here, run all the way down to the end, come out of this pipe, and then just go out of the truck so that it doesn't end up in the bed of your truck. Now, I told you, it rained yesterday. There's still water in here from when it rained yesterday. Right, you see, if you look at the edge of the tailgate, there's water here where the tunnel cover actually falls down. The tunnel cover stops right here. There's a line of water right here. The tunnel cover stops there, therefore preventing more water from getting inside your bed. So the question is, how is all this water getting inside the bed? It can't all just be coming from the side here, especially that much water. There's no way. Needless to say, I'm not completely satisfied with my tunnel cover. Now for the pros that I listed, it does it does its job. If I put something back here, it's protected. Um, it's easy to use, it was easy to install. Uh, it looks great. But for the cons, uh, I don't know which one out which one outweighs the other, you know? Now keep in mind, like I said, I had some of these problems the first week I put it on, right? Uh, the other problems arise as the time went on, but it's only been four and a half, five months, you know, me having this tonal cover. So for me paying, uh, speaking of paying, we didn't talk about price, let's talk about price. Now, price is a pro and con, let me explain why. This tonal cover was around $660. Now I got it on sale, it was a 4th of July sale, they were giving, they were offering these all these discounts if you called them and uh, said that you wanted a 4th of July discount. So I did that just to see what they say, and it ended up being around 600 bucks. That's a pro, that's a con, depending on your own situation, that's up to you. Uh, for me, I mean, for, for to pay $600 for something and have issues is the problem. Now, I don't have $600 to drop on a tonal cover. So I use the Firm. Uh, firm is a payment plan, if you don't know what it is. It's a payment plan where you can pay monthly, and it's based on your credit. They do a soft pull on your credit, and they give you a rate based on that. Now you end up paying a little bit of interest depending on your credit score. And keep that in mind if you wanna buy something that's high priced, like a tonal cover, that's 600 some dollars, try to use a firm. Or, and there are plenty of other, other programs that are the same where they, off, they allow you to pay monthly and they charge you interest. Now that's a good way to get something that's high priced, get it now and then just kind of pay on. So all that being said, I did reach out to uh, Gator just to see if there's anything that could be done, and like I said, I thought they were gonna give me some glue and say glue it back together. <laughs> um, they asked me to send pictures, and uh, a week went by, and they 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 were very, customer service was very well. They did send me emails and check on me and see if there's anything that could be done in the meantime while they're waiting on a decision. And they told me they were waiting on a decision from the manufacturer. And I thought they were the manufacturer, but neither here nor there. Um, so, what they ended up doing was deciding that this tonal cover was defective. And I don't know if it's just this tonal cover or, I don't know, I didn't ask, well, I did ask, they just didn't tell me. <laughs> After two weeks, two weeks went by and they sent me an email saying that the manufacturer thought that the best course of action to fix this problem was to send me a brand new tonal cover. They asked me for my address, I verified, and they said, we'll send you out, we'll have one shipped out to you. That's also a pro and a con because it's great that they're sending me another one. Now, like I said, I don't know if it was just this one that was defective and had issues or what the case may be. So it's great that they send me another one. However, if they're sending me the exact same one, am I gonna have the exact same issues is my concern. So that brings me to this box. This box. We got a new tonal cover, at least according to the model number on the box, it is the exact same tone cover that we have already. So we're gonna quickly take that one off, put that one on. And so the only thing that they did say, the last email they sent me said, they want pictures of the old tonal cover being destroyed. I don't know if they want me to take a sledgehammer to it. I don't know what that means, but uh, I'm probably just gonna put it in the trash and see if the trash takes it. I don't know.
our new tonal cover is on. Now, I say new, even though it's the exact same <laughs> tonal cover as the old one over here in the grass. Uh, same gator. For whatever reason, this one feels a bit more firm. It feels a bit more uh, solid. I don't know if it's because it's new. You know, you get new stuff. It feels new. It feels better, I guess. I don't know. But uh, initial thoughts, I did notice. Like I said, it, felt a little, it feels a little more solid. I noticed uh, this rubber piece here seems to be a little thicker than the other one was. At least it, it seems to cover more area than the other one was. The other one did. I also noticed that if you look here, this piece is also longer than it was on the other one. I got it extended off a little bit here and a little bit off on the other end. So hopefully that protects better. Um, I noticed it's also, it wasn't as dusty as the other one was when it came. Right, there's still some dust here and there, but not nothing to complain about. I mean, it's not a big deal. <laughs> All right, so there you have it, the Gator EFX Hard Trifold Cover, part two. <laughs> Hopefully it works better than the previous one did. Uh, the question is, do I recommend it? I do recommend it, I do recommend it. Um, they have great customer service, they were very helpful. I mean, they actually gave me a brand new tone of cover because they deemed the other one being defective. So I do recommend it. Um, now there are, there are different types of tonal covers. There's soft covers, there's hard covers, there's actual retractable covers that are super expensive, but however, claim to be completely waterproof. Um, so, I mean, it depends on you, your situation, your pockets, <laughs> what you're willing to accept, what you're willing to afford. If you watch this entire video, which I do appreciate. I know it was a long one. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. You made it all the way to the end. You might as well subscribe. Shoot me a like. You know what? Put in the comment section, what kind of tonal cover do you have? Is it Gator? Is it, you know, there are several brands. What kind of tonal cover do you have? And if you don't have one, would you consider getting one? Till next time, once again, thank you for watching. See you next time.